You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. You know what time it is. Capricorns be like, you know I tend to say a lot of inappropriate jokes at the wrong time, but um, <laughs> you gotta admit, it's always funny. No matter how hard I work, I always feel like I'm always being pressured to do more. A lot of people say I'm very aggressive, but um, I think I'm just passionate. I feel like I'm always organizing my shit. Am I in a long lasting relationship? Did I find a, a husband, a, a wife? Uh, no, <laughs> I haven't found anyone that's actually worth my time yet. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Whoa, let me, let me, let me, let me stop you right there. <laughs> what you mean? You want to talk about my feelings? You want me to tell you how I feel? <laughs> Bitch, I will never open up to you. I isolate myself so much from my friends and just people in general that I'm so comfortable being alone that now I just want to be alone. Like, I'll probably always flake on you. And um, that, no, I'm not sorry about it. I don't come to work to make friends. I come here to make money and to get that promotion and just know that I am going to win. I'm going to get that promotion, not you. <laughs> Watch. Because you know why? Because I work hard. No one, and I mean no one, can ever outwork me. I, what? I have a bitch face. I don't. What do you want me to do? You, you want me to fix my bitch face? Fix your relationship first, Carol. So everybody, I decided to throw a party and um, yeah, no one's invited besides me. <laughs> and I know, I know I'll be acting like a hard ass in public. I know, I know. But you better baby me whenever we're alone because I like a lot of affection and attention. <laughs> I'm dominant. <laughs> can you not tell? Honestly, I'm just trying to see how I can make more money today. Yo, I love money, dude. I have the ability to really, 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 really miss you. But I can act like... I never thought about you once. Do you know how many people get mad at me in a day for not responding to their texts because I leave them on red? If you actually appreciate me and my presence and what I do, I, I love you. I might be 300% stubborn, but at least I'm 0% lazy. But then again, are we sure I'm stubborn or you're just stupid? I can either bring joy or chaos to your life, so. Choose wisely. Bro, bro, bro. One thing you don't wanna do is see me mad. <sighs> No one should ever see me mad. I'm actually really crazy. Like, I'll probably never admit that, but um, I am. I dress really good. Like, if you've ever seen me in person, you know my style and my fit is always on point, period. You think karma is bad? <laughs> you obviously haven't pissed me off yet, because I'm worse. Can you baby me? Can we cuddle? Can we take a nap together? I'm not impressed easily, so don't try to impress me. One thing I don't do is small talk, so who hurts you? Why are you why are you this way? Tell me about your childhood. How was your last relationship? Like, I want to know all the deep stuff. What's good? Come on, come on. No, I am. Oh no, I will never talk about my feelings ever. I act like I don't care, but deep, deep, deep down inside, I still don't care. But if you go a little bit deeper than that, I, I, I don't care still. But like a little bit below that, I might actually give a fuck. Probably not. If I, a Capricorn, ever give you my all, consider yourself not only lucky, but blessed. And don't make me feel stupid for giving you my all. So if I actually tell you that I love you, I mean that I love you. <clears throat> I'm sad again. Fuck. Before you try to joke with me, really ask yourself if I'm actually your friend because I'm about to hurt your feelings. You will never know that I'm actually in pain or that I'm going through it because I don't talk about my feelings. So even if I need help, I'll never ask for it. Even if you offer it, I'll always say no. If you're working with me, I ask three things and three things only. Leave me the fuck alone, give me my space, and don't eat my lunch. Okay. Oh, oh, and don't fuck with my money. Yeah, like, I guess you could say a lot of people want me, but I don't want anybody because I just feel like no one's good enough. I'm very picky with who I tend to invest my time into. If we were ever in a relationship and I actually loved you at one point, Honestly, I don't know how to unlove you. So can someone teach me because I don't know how to unlove this mother. It's not that I'm always talking over you or that I'm too loud. It's just like, you're just so boring and quiet. <laughs> don't come at me because you don't have a personality. Who's always stressed? Say I, I, I. I could be really, really, really mean. Like I could be really mean. But um, I could still love you at the same time. Like just because I'm mean to you sometimes doesn't mean I stop loving you. So it's like... Don't mind me, I apologize, but just know that I still love you. But yeah, I'm really fucking mean if I want to be. What's your love language? Physical touch? Okay, you? Quality time. Oh, quality time. That's that's nice. Oh, mine? Yeah, mine is uh, giving me my space. I, I know it's not a love language, but give me my fucking space. You know what I'm saying? Like, whoa. I feel like I always have a migraine. <laughs> Yo. 
my block list is so long. I love nice, expensive shit. I don't trust anyone. I don't, I don't trust not even my shadow. <laughs> So I definitely don't trust you. I always have to be in charge because I'm very dominant. What do you mean I hold everything in? That's not true. I just, I don't cry in front of you guys. I don't cry in public, but um, I cry alone in the bathroom all the time. Honestly, it should be illegal to be this fine and this loyal all at once. I think we all know I have a very, very strong presence. And if you're not intimidated by that, yo, where you been my whole life? Like, should we get married now? <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I like my space. <laughs> If you understand my sarcasm, I automatically love you. Never cry around me because I don't know what to do with that. Like, I don't I don't know if I should like hug you or like walk away. Like, you, you're making me uncomfortable. Roses are red, violets are blue. There's not a man alive that can tell me what to do. <laughs> don't fucking try it. You know, I'm going to try to open up and be more vulnerable with you.